What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Drams on deck. Today, today I'm watching the NBA playoffs, and right now it's halftime, and my team is stinking up the joint, and they're really ticking me off, so I, I'm, I'm tired of watching them for now. So I'm going to take a little pause, and let me get on some reviews. Mm -hmm. And I was over here lacing up my new shoes, and I just got these. It was so fire, I figured I'd just show them off a little bit. Why not? These are new. Well, not really new, but these the Griffies. I'm, I'm a throwback person. I like older shoes and retro shoes. So anyway, got the little Griffies right here. They so fire. It's like the, I think they're like America ones. But anyway, I, yeah, I do got big feet, size 12s. Thought they was pretty fresh for the spring. Had to cop these joints. They so fire. Can't wait to throw these on and hit somewhere up. But, but anyway... We ain't here for these, you know, they do look good. And we ain't here for them. What we are here for is, uh, we want the smoke wagon today. Where we at? Right here. Ba -ba this is what we here for today. You see it. Smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. You see what time it is. Sitting at 57.95% ABV. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, I just recently got this a couple months ago. I was in um, Kentucky and saw it at, uh, was it Total Wines? Picked it up. And uh, so just so you know. This was uh, this year, batch number 168B. And uh, we're going to dive all into this. My first bottle of Smoke Wagon. It's the Uncut Unfiltered, you know. So I, I love my high proof. So anyway, we're going to dive all into it. But, you know, we got some other ones we're going to get to all y'all in a later date. But anyway, today is about you. Yeah, it's about you. Yeah. Smoke Wagon Uncut Filter. Let's go. Let's get it. Trams on deck. Ah, today we got a hitter in the building. Today we got the smoke wagon uncut, unfiltered on deck. Yes, sir. Uh, as I stated earlier, this is actually my first bottle of smoke wagon. I have tried smoke wagon before, but this is the first time I actually purchased a bottle of it. Um, a couple of years ago, I was in uh, California and I didn't really see this around too much. And a few times I did, you know, it was kind of like, you know, on second market hand, it was overpriced. I was like, you know what? I'm not trying to spend no $150 for no smoke wagon. Then, now that I transition, I'm here in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm here for a few years, and I'll be transitioning somewhere else. But anyway, um, here in the state, I have never seen smoke wagon in the state. If it, if it is, if it was here, it was probably allocated, meaning that, you know, you, you know, first come, first serve, or maybe just a, a you know, you got to run a raffle, which I never do. Um, so essentially, I don't really see that bottle here at all. But I was on a recent trip for work. I was in Louisville, Kentucky. Saw on the show, I was at a, a, a Total Wines. Um, this was early in the year, a couple months ago, and I just saw it there. I wasn't looking at anything specific, and I should start blogging a little bit more of my shopping uh, sprees when I pick up bottles. I was looking to find something. So that particular day, I had got this bottle. It was about 80 something bucks, about $81, something like that. So you figure with taxes, about $85, $86, $7, something like that. So, you know. Um, so it was in the 80s for this bottle. I actually got this bottle here the same day. Um, so this will be coming as well soon. I believe it's called Hirsch. And then also got a bottle of Pikesville Rye, which I actually dropped the review for that. So anyway, I got like those three bottles that day. And uh, yeah, so now I'm doing a review. Um, this one I stated earlier is uh, bottle date is 25 January 2023, uh, batch 168B. So um, this one, like I said, man, I like my high proofs. Um, also, this is MGP, which is Indiana uh, juice, Indiana bourbon, which is MGP sources a lot of uh, uh, pretty much distilleries now. So, uh, so it's this is actually out of uh, Smoke Wagon is out of uh, Las Vegas. It's, it's in Nevada, so it's in Nevada, I believe, Las Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. And so they have this right here, which is yeah, Las Vegas. Nevada. They have this bottle here. They have different uh, expressions from their uh, cut. They have the one called the uh young it's, it's called was it younger it's anyway um they have another expression this has a gold plated right now i'm having um a lapse of memory but it was called uh something younger born younger I, I'm, forgive me but you hit me in the comments you know what i'm referring to it's half the price of this i think the abv is probably around 50 50 percent abv and it was 40 dollars. so i thought about getting that one i had both of them in my hand i was like should i get the uncut unfiltered for 80 should i get the younger one for 40, uh, I was, it was tomato, tomato, in the end, I ended up getting this one, so I just said to hell with it, you know, this is what they're known for, um, they also have a, a rye one as well, I tried that before, um, the malty rye, um, I tried actually a little pour, if you've if you ever been to Louisville, Kentucky, or even anywhere in Kentucky, but primarily Louisville or Lexington, there's a store there called Liquor Barn, I tried the, um, the malty rye of this one, it has like a little green tint to it, um, I, 
you know, it wasn't quite my favorite, I would say. I, I, you know, I, you know, I like Rise, but that for some reason, that particular one, that just didn't do it for me. Um, so anyway, I wanted to give this a shot. Like I said, out of Las Vegas, which I go pretty much every year. And uh, maybe next trip, I'll try and make a stop and check this spot out. But anyway, they got a, a source their whiskey from MGP. They have it out there in Vegas and make it their own. They drop multiple, every year that they have a different ABV. So it's the uncut and filtered every year. It's slightly different variances in the ABV. So, um, so yes, yeah, so this is the one I have for this year. The one from last year is going to be slightly different from this one. Um, so like I said, it's my first uncut unfiltered. So um, as always, we're going to nose it. We're going to taste it. We're going to score it. And the color on this one, like I said, just so you all know, it's, it's uh, made up of corn, mostly corn, uh, then rye, then malted barley. Um, it's not age stated, so there's no age statement on there. And this, and like I said, so it's not age statements. So I wouldn't, I would expect it probably would be, I don't know, less than six years if that. Um, but this is probably medium color. I would say medium amber color on this one right here. And uh, let's see what this nose has to offer. <sighs> you definitely pick up a heavy dose of the rye spice. Definitely you get that. A little caramel on here. A little toffee. <sighs> Just a little bit of sweet oak on here as well. But like caramel, toffee, sweet oak, rye spice is mainly what I pick up on it. Like I said, it's damn near with 58% ABV. Was it that right? Yeah. No, yeah, almost 58%. Uh, so, you know, it's pretty high up there. So, but it's not, the ethanol is not burning my nose right now. So, but I can definitely, I can definitely smell a little bit of it though. But yeah, caramel, sweet oak, rye spice, heavy on the nose. All right, without further ado, let's take a sip, see what we got. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Mmm, okay. A little chewy. It's the first sip of the day. Got my chest nice and warm right now. Mmm. All right now. All right. I know you're here. Going down, but kind of chewy in a good way. I like that. All right now. Mm -hmm. And as always, for me, I like to take two sips. You know, the first sip opens it up. You, you know, you're getting sensitized to the alcohol, the ABV, the notes. And the second sip kind of saturates my palate a little bit more. So let me take one more quick sip and I'm going to give you these notes. Okay. All right now. Wow. Okay. I get like a nice little sweet herbal note, sweet oak, caramel, like a nutty, like a nutty graham cracker kind of taste. And I like it. Like a nice sweet rye spice, a little butterscotch on here. It's nice. Not bad at all. It's not bad at all. You know? Um, this is not a finished bourbon, so you know, you know, it's not like it's finished in sherry or port or anything like that. So I don't really pick up any dark fruits, but I do pick up a lot of nice sweet oak, herbal notes, you know, um, a little licorice, like I said, butterscotch, nice little graham cracker, kind of a taste like if you're eating a pie and get to the last couple pieces of that thick graham cracker, kind of crust to it. I like that. I like that. And I added a couple drops of water after that first, that second sip. So I just want to see, because like I said, it's, it's cash strength pretty much. So I want to see if the uh, water opens it up a little bit. But uh, but all in all, man, not bad at all. I like it. It's good stuff. You know what this reminds me just a little bit of? I'm not saying all the way, but a little bit of uh, Noah's Mill. Um, it, it, just a little bit of the, the chewiness and the nutty, and like a little slightly peat nuttiness to it. But still has some elements underlying with a little bit of sweetness from, like I said, like that nice sweet oak, that butterscotched caramel, nice sweet rye spice. It reminds me just a little bit of, of Noah's Mill. I think I might have a bottle of Noah's Mill around here somewhere. I think uh, somewhere around here. I don't know, but I don't see it right now. But I know I got an extra bottle of Noah's Mill somewhere. But anyway, I was trying to show you just for face value. But anyway, if you ever had Noah's Mill, kind of, it, it's a little bit of similarities to me, just a little bit. But anyway, I'm gonna take one more quick sip. This is with the water. So let's see if this water opens this uh, high proof up anymore. Mm. 
Not really. So I think the one thing I gotta get like a little bit more, a little bit more of that butterscotch. But I don't know. I kind of like it even better without water. I guess just I don't know. I mean, with or without, it's still good. But I kind of like it better without water. Because to me, that butterscotch note kind of took a little forefront a little bit more. But all in all, it's not a bad dram at all. It's eighty dollars, so it's not cheap, non age stated. And nowadays, like I said, man, for a cash strafe, you know, spirit, you know, you're gonna pay nowadays. And this, this is one of those things for me, man. It's like I like it. Eight dollars is not too terribly high. I mean, because there's some ones that's, you know, far and above that one. I actually behind me, I'm trying to grab the bottle without having to get up. So bear with me. But I did this review not too long ago. Single Barrel Two Nine One. This is what a two year old bourbon or a whiskey. And this one is about almost $100 for a two-year. ABV is not as high as it is on this one. So just to show you an example, like these, these high-proof spirits nowadays, man, they're just, they really, really are just, you know, jacking up the prices more and more. But like I said, man, $80 is, you know, it's terrible. I mean, you know, I think I would probably still buy another bottle of a different one because they, like they come out every year. So you always definitely want to, um, make sure that, you know, hey, if you like it and you can get it at a good price, try to get it at a nice price. Like I said, that was in Cali. I mean, it was like 150 or something like this for these. And I'm like, man, I'm not really trying to spend that kind of money on this, you know. So nowadays, like I said, if I can get it for $70, $80, okay, I can get another one. But yeah, they're definitely, uh, definitely not cheap though. So anyway, all in all, I thought it was a good bribe. Like I said, if you like, and keep in mind, they're, they may vary from ABV, ABV. So it's like every single... You know, uh, uncut and filter is not going to taste exactly to the T like all of them. You know what I'm saying? Some may have some um, similarities and there's going to have some variances as well. So the one I have is not bad. I mean, like I said, it's the uh, batch number 168B. So um, I definitely liked it. I, th I thought it was good. I think the, the main notes that really stuck out for me was that, that butterscotch, sweet oak, um, that sweet rice spice, um, that, that cracker, nutty kind of uh, 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 note as well. I really enjoyed that. So for me, it was a good buy. I think I, I liked it. I would buy, I would buy another. And plus, I think the bottle looks pretty cool. Um, presentation sometimes matters because there's certain bottles that just looks good on your cabinet. And so sometimes when you see them, like, wow, you know, you probably can't see, obviously, because it's the dark tint. But the bottle's like halfway gone now. I had a couple months. So it's, it's, it's you know, it's been doing what it's doing. So it's not bad. I like the uncut. I like the unfiltered. Like I said, it just it reminds me a little bit, you know, of Noah's Mill. I don't know if you, if you ever had it. Just let me know. Hit me in the um, comments. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I haven't had them side by side, but when I brought Tyra taking it down, Noah's Mill kind of popped in my head because of that, that chewy, nutty kind of uh, character to it they sell. And they're both high proof. So, but all in all, good, solid dram. I, I think it's good. Um, like I said, um, if you like I said, everyone doesn't have these. Some places you can get these all day, every day. Some, like I said, where I live at, they don't really carry this at all. Not just this, but any smoke wagon. You know, they have these. This is the high proof one, but even the entry level ones. I don't, I, I don't see any smoke wagon on the shelves anywhere around here. So that being said, I just kind of just take that into uh, consideration. But anyway, all in all, good stuff. If I had to rate this one out of ten, ten being the best for me, drams on deck. <sighs> um. I, I mean, I would give this a solid eight and a half. I give this an eight and a half out of a 10. I think it's solid. It's a good dram. It's a good buy. If you like high proof, some people don't like high proofs, but um, so if you're not, you might need, you know, you will probably put it on the rocks or something like that. Um, I definitely wouldn't, you know, think to be mixing this type of thing. But like I said, you know, at least on my batch, it has a nice little chewy character to it. Nice sweet rice spice. Like I said, butterscotch toffee, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of, that. I just enjoy that, that um, the way it mingles around. And all those notes kind of interplay all together. So I, from the front to the mid palate, the finish is kind of pretty decent on it. Like I said, about a medium, uh, medium, I would say medium high finish on it. Not bad at all. Um, it's like, you know, the, uh, the viscosity is not super high. There's some oil in this, but, you know, not nothing super high. Uh, but I think it drinks pretty easy. Um, for the high proof. I mean, don't get me wrong. You you can feel a little bit. You can feel the ABV, but it's not scouring your mouth, especially if you're used to drinking high proofs. You know, everybody is not, you know, it's not a high proofer. So for, you know, people who are not, then this, you know, it probably won't be, you know, quite to the liking. But for me, I, I you know, it's definitely right up my alley. I, I enjoy the high proof. So all in all, like I said, if you like those notes, 
uh, give it a shot. If you're at a bar, you see it there, you know, yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Because like I said, different batches are going to vary from different tastes. You know, just like the stags. All stags don't taste the same. So, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you never had it before, um, maybe this might help you uh, decide if that's something that you want to try or, you know, whatever this case may be. So, um, like I said, also, I have a link for my Instagram. So, there's some hidden reviews on there and some bottles that I have yet to review on my Instagram page. So, uh, you can check that out as well. I also have Cash App Patreon if you do choose to support. And I also, like I said, man, I got new hot reviews coming. So, always stay. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the like button. I drop try to drop content at least every week. So, um, all in all, man, please hit me and let me know your thoughts and opinions of the smoke wagon or any other smoke wagon that you've had. Uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Got more hot ones on the way. Tuning out. Drams on deck. Yes, sir.